the world of YouTube. Archie here with another video. Um, today I want to go over this one. Of course, I look as you can see. I don't know if this Maura Murray sub covers all missing cases or they're just running out of ideas and they brought this one up. But whatever the case may be, I thought it was very interesting to check it out. And yes, it is very bizarre and I like to give my thoughts, theories, and ideas. This is nothing relative, relevant to anything. I've only read one article on this thing, and that's that. I'm just here to give out some ideas, maybe, and stuff like that. Like I say, I'm not here to alter, change, nothing. Just to make anybody know, be known, that I'm not here to try and, <clears throat> you know... Like I've gotten comments in the past saying that, you know, I'm a fake, I'm a fraud, or whatnot, but guess what? I'm only here to give thoughts, theories, and ideas to think about something. So as we have here is we have a Brian Schaefer. And just like a damn ad of raid, they check in, but they don't check out. He walked in a bar and never walked out couple things in this case that are very bizarre is right and one of them is um of course down here statements that I wanted to read this comment of course the first comment that's up there says that he wanted to voluntarily leave his life and um did his own disappearance but with my thoughts and theories that are gonna be said today you're going to think twice of what came up to mind for me. And um, the guy was in medical school. I think he was at his graduating year. A senior. Uh, bear with me. i got to plug in my goddamn friggin' phone line before my phone goes dead. Well, anyways, there we have a uh, guy that's... Um, Oh, this sucks. Squirrel caught my goddamn battery charger wire. Now it's eating. And it don't charge, you little bastard. Rodent. Urgh. Anyways. <laughs> Damn it. Hope this don't die on me. Great. Actually, bear with me. I'm gonna have to move to the next charger. Unbelievable, unbelievable. I don't know. Frickin' why a problem, you son of a... God damn. Jesus age. <laughs> Anyways, let's get on with this. Is this thing on? Oh, yeah. Ah! So anyway, there we got a student, medical student. Gonna be a senior. Well, he's almost being going to be a graduate. Girl there, gonna get, I guess he was going to get married to. Um, seemed like he had a pretty damn good life. I mean, and for someone to just want to give it up. But the downside of his life was his mother passed away, I guess, sometime shortly before his disappearance. And, um... And I, I don't see anything else than that. And people say, I think his friend's family said that he was, of course, very close to his mother. Now, don't get me wrong. If someone, I do know someone that was very close to their mother. Um, this guy was a friend of the family. My mother and father knew his mother and father. And, uh... Known him, and it sucks to say I've seen both of these people, him and his mother, before they passed away shortly after that. And it was like, here today, gone tomorrow. Like, whoa. And, you know, and just before his mother passed away, that I remember, before, I think she might have passed away first. Oh, no, no, no. It was... First, he went to a concert. And this is when I seen him last. Yeah, this is how it went down. 
So I seen him, I seen his mother, right? And when I did see him for the last time, it was right after he just got home from a Foreigner concert. Of course, Foreigner to me was one of my, was one of is one of my favorite bands. Do uh, bear with me. Losing um, problems with my battery not showing it's charging. Hmm. Ghost. Anyway, let me get this going because my damn, I don't know what the hell's going on with my phone right now, but it's pissing me off. It's at 23% and my battery and the wires all plugged in, wall out with, and it still ain't charging. Woo. Anyways, as I was saying, I'm, of course, Foreigner being one of my favorite bands at the time, it still is. Got to see him in concert with Kid Rock. Awesome damn show. Of course, it wasn't with the um, great um, original singer, but it was good. I enjoyed it. That was, uh, oh, come on, don't do this to me. Lou Graham. I didn't get to see him, but I think when I did go see them, they, he was having some medical issues, of course. But anyways, I mean, he got to see him. He got home, and the only thing he could say was giving me this. There was not a word out of his mouth. His, his whole voice was hoarse due to the screaming at the concert, right? And I was in me. I wanted to know, oh, I was at concert, man. I was like 12 years old at the time. I was like, whoa, yeah. And, you know, he just threw his thumb up and, yeah, great. At the time, also, I had had an Atari, and I brought it over there, too, and we were all playing. It was just good, fun times, you know. And then his mother passed away. I was like, damn. I mean... And then I then I got to the point where my father wasn't going up there. I mean, we visited, we paid our respects and everything, but and then all of a sudden, not even a year later, I believe it was, or half a year later, man, and all I can remember was them days that we were playing Atari and talking to him, and it was like about that concert, and all of a sudden, he was gone, too. Couldn't take the death of his mother. So, I mean, for anybody to say to me, like I say, I like to give out thoughts, theories, ideas, and stuff like this. But if it did come to the fact that this guy, you know, mother passed away, you know, God forbid he wanted to take his life or something or, you know, move on or do whatever the thought or theory of this is. But I mean, down here in the comment, there have been statements, yeah, he planned out his disappearance, and that is somehow voluntary. But, in a way, and that's why I like to come up with thoughts, theories, ideas. Because that, to me, just sounds too, too easy, too shady, you know? If he did do it, in all respects, I'd like to give a moment of silence him for his mother first. Whatever the whatever the case may be on this, I kind of also do see something dark and sinister. So. With that being said, and then the only reason why I shared that story, because if that is what happened, and it comes out in the end, oh man, bear with me. So anyways, I was saying, I'm going to rep by the pug again, getting all these interruptions, interruptions. So I mean, if he did, you know, and it comes out that he made a different life or did something disappear because his mother passed away in all respects. Hey, that's his choice. Um, whatever, if he wanted to be engaged with this woman and then all of a sudden had a 360 in life and wanted to, uh, 180 and wanted to get the hell out of there. It's tough to say, but how about these thoughts and theories on this? 
of my thoughts, and this is nothing on the books. I've only run, read one thing about this, and that's basically, yeah, what I learned about the mother passing away, the law school, this, that, and then he went in the bar, talked to two women, I guess, which that seemed odd, you know, you know, being engaged or whatnot, getting ready to get married or whatever, whatever it was, but who knows? And what makes it that very shady is it how do they know how do you don't know if these two women set him up? Or you know what really gets me in this story is that they um there's nothing on nothing on just only him walking in and never walking out. He could have dressed up as a different person. But what if someone worked at this bar? And the only reason why I come out with this thought and theory is because you got to think of the Triple H story. In the Triple H, Henry Holmes, I forgot his first name, but I think his middle name was Henry, and he had a first name of... But uh, I only remember the Henry Holmes and he was the first serial killer supposedly ever documented back in the 1800s. They were even saying he could have been Jack the Ripper, but... Eh. And the only reason why I bring him up is because in Chicago, at one of the uh, world fairs, he literally built himself a hotel, if anybody don't know that story, and it had rooms that went nowhere, trap doors, all the same crazy shit you find in some sick, demented horror film. But it ain't. It was real. And if you see a horror room I mean, of the nature of that kind of horror movie, then now you know where it came from. Trap doors and no walls. I mean, walls as doors and you can't get out of rooms. And he made that. To lure in people to kill him. And how does anybody yet don't know that this bar could be rigged? I mean, you gotta look at all perspectives. Can't leave no rock unturned. So, who knows if this bar is one of them bars that suck people in. Have a couple women, women there that's trustworthy enough to lure in men. And then, poof, where have they gone? Now they say, all right, he never went out of the bar. Surveillance, of course, surveillance could have been messed with. You know, that part of him leaving the bar could have been cut. Don't get me wrong. Who knows, we're talking, I think this happened in 2004. And that's why I think it was brought up, of course, around, or two, I don't know, was it back in the mid-2000s? I don't know if it was 2005. But of course, surveillance back then was not in demand like today. And that's why I say, hey, I think all, I don't care, man, I ain't got nothing to hide. If they need surveillance through all bars and cities and, you know, so goddamn be it. Because bars are the number one target. One of the number one targets, at least, for luring in people and luring them out. And how did anybody know if that bar was rigged? And then all of a sudden, and like this Henry Holmes, Mr. Holmes, he used to change his motels too. His motel, I mean. He used to have different contractors in there doing different things. Whether he killed somebody and changed that room and made it something else. Ah, you gotta think, man. And if a guy was that advanced back in the 1800s like he was, just think what today can bring of modern day serial killers. Something to think about, I think, don't you think? Mm hmm? And these are the things I do think about, man, because when you got stuff like him in the past, in the past, and just like I just said, how advanced he was. He's a very smart man. 
He didn't even study medicine tree and all this crap like this guy. But yet he's taking bodies out of the graves, Mr. Holmes, and doing, you know, research on them at colleges and stuff. <laughs> what the fuck? Jesus, what? Yeah, right? If you haven't heard of that story, check it out. So, I mean, now you see a story like this, right? And being, I did put a shout out to um, London, UK, United Kingdom. And let me know if they had anything out there they wanted to. Uh, one of them still in the process of working on. I'm still trying to find my black bag, which I think my little runt kid hit on me. And in there, I got some stuff about the Loch Ness Monster, and I was asked to do something on that, but I'm, I can't find my goddamn bag. And I got some important shit in there. If my kid took it and hit it, I'm going to kick his ass. But, <laughs> but anyways, I asked them out there if anybody had anything, and I did today. He finally just said, ah, hell, let me give a shot, because this came up. I want to look into more, so I went out there to the old great United Kingdom cherry o chop to see what they had for missing persons. And ee, I want to say, damn. I'm, I'm, I now I wonder why no one's texted me any information, because holy crap, there's not a lot to go on with them stories. But there is a lot of cases. So I want to take I'm going to be doing a video on that soon and go over the people that are missing and <laughs> these people are pretty close and near somebody but I won't mention who now but all of you in the United Kingdom should know where I'm going with this and they're close and I'll just say this to him. And I looked up the map of the United Kingdom of him. And <laughs> because when I get into people and start looking at people and reading about people and finding out about that person, it's like, well, would they have the opportunity? And from what him I got from, I just don't want to mention his name and, you know, know about what I've been looking into because I don't want to shift nothing. But him kind of think, I want to say, man, wouldn't be surprising if him could maybe lead to some of these missing persons. But anyways, yeah, the stuff out there, man, it's like, damn, what else? It's, it's not like this. This, I mean, the evidence and the and the stories, just this person missing that the last scene, and there's no details or anything. It's like scary that there's not a whole, you know, like this guy, whole story. He was here. He's at a bar. He's you know, at the university. He's doing this. He's doing that. His mother passed away. All the, where's the information for the poor people in the UK? Like, damn. Where were, they, you know, they say last seen here. But, I mean, it's just not enough to go on. And it's like, it, it would be frustrating if I was from Scotland Yard to get anything out there, chap. Because the little information they got, it's like, damn. There's not enough witnesses, not enough of this. It's like, wow, what the hell's going on? But this is one, yeah, crazy story. And the only thing I can come up with a theory on this, though, is that how do you know that bar wasn't rigged? You know, them old movies, man, with the trap doors, and they were made for a purpose. They were made to show people that, oh, you know, just like uh, Young Frankenstein, even though that was a comedy movie, but you got Gene Wilder going through a friggin' trap door and, you know, coming out here and you gotta, you gotta look at this stuff, man. And you can't, and that's the first thing I thought 
when I said this man walked in but never walked out. And I mean, and everything that, and then the article I think is pretty much legit. Because I think I did tap on this um, link, but no, that's a podcast. I looked them up anyways. And it seemed pretty, you know, fair and legit of what they were talking about, about him and everything, but just to walk in a bar and never come out. And it didn't even say if they saw someone dressed differently. I mean, it all depends if how many people were in the bar. You know, if it was full and packed, all right, he could easily, right, dress up, leave in a happy hour or when the freaking mob goes out. Or it was packed and he got lured in. Trap door, trap wall, maybe the bathrooms. Something to think about. Because in a how the... F- and they didn't say nothing about, right, distinctive clothing or people walking out of the bar that look different. So whoever looked into that, you know, surveillance, to me just didn't look close enough. Because everybody that walks in, and then again I can't say that because if the surveillance back then was crappy and a lot of them were back then when they were made, you know, eh, what the hell can you do? It is like, mm. and there have been cases with that, don't get me wrong, that the surveillance was, surveillance was so poor. Yeah, how can you recognize that? Say like the Chris Waltz, hmm? And his camera in the back and the bright light shining and you can't see a body but you see them boots. See it? It's a woman! It's a woman! <laughs> yeah, right! And if they had that kind of lousy surveillance, well, yeah, goddamn some bitch. But if I was an investigator, I'd be in that bar just tapping around on the walls, just grabbing this and oh, what's this? And looking for some kind of whoops. And a guy was in the bathroom a minute ago, and I could have got a drunk there talking about. I could have sworn I saw him go down the floor in the toilet. And then the guy over here could be saying, you're fucking drunk. Shut up, you stupid drunk. Do you see what you do when you're drunk? You make up all these goddamn stories. (laughs) Right? Get them fucking, oh, man. I'm telling you, man, it's just... Stuff like this makes me think... And where I look at every possibility, not just one, which is that comment right there. Oh, he wanted to, he just walked there, he wanted to leave, disappear, change his clothes and got the hell out of there. So, but that's the thing. Now think of this. If you went in there to change clothes, did he have the clothes underneath his clothes or was there a bag brought in? It's like, Or did someone bring one in, but no one said anything about no bags brought in. And if he was that desperate enough to wear clothes under clothes, don't you think clothes would have been found? Or he could have took the clothes underneath, put them on top of the overclothes. That's the only way I could see him getting out of there. And if it was crowded that night, it don't even even say if it was crowded that night. So what really did went on in that bar, huh? Clothes over clothes, yeah. Swap them out, put them underneath over. That's a possibility, but... Very baffling. Good looking guy, too, man. Why would he want to disappear? Why would he want to get rid of... I don't know. That. I mean, a good looking girl. Got his life. Gonna be a friggin' surgeon, doctor, whatever it is. Medical, medical school. Make a hundred, two hundred thousand dollars a year, and then he just wants to give up. I mean, yeah, if he did happen to give up because of his mother died, like I said, I had a friend that did that, and it was terrible loss. Guy couldn't live on without his mother, so 
I hold that in the deepest respects if that's what happened, but until that damn body's found, foul play in my eyes, I think that bar should be researched. But then again, if this happened that many years back, and if someone does come up with an idea, how do you know they haven't already changed that, you know? Yeah, get that out of there. Just like Henry Holmes. Oh, I need this fixed. I need this changed. I need this. Yeah, do that. And different contractors all the time. Got you thinking, huh? People really want to do. And who knows if them girls were someone from the bar or... But to lure him in sounds more like it. But if he was talking to him just to be friendly conversation and jealous man... There's a lot of thoughts and theories to go into this, but them are mine anyways. What really lies in that bar is the question. But got a lot of stuff coming up. And my day today was very, very... I needed to do a video tonight. And because I haven't been past couple days, man, I've been dealing with some issues, but I had to calm my mind and get into the um, mystery world so when I do go talk about this on another video I can be calm about it because today boy I was all I'm gonna say is I got into a cop's face with my finger in his face and I didn't get arrested but I think I'm gonna share this story because that's right something shady happened shady is right and I wouldn't be surprised if, if I didn't intervene like I did. I'm going to be so surprised that my kid would have ended up like this guy. That's what I've been dealing with the past couple days, man. But I had a strategy. And I told my wife, and I didn't I tell her about what I was going to do for a plan. Little bits and pieces, but not all of it. And I told her, all you need to know is it's a strategy in between a genius... And a madman. And it worked. I was absolutely surprised it worked, but I also was, you know, confident in it. Had confidence. But I'll tell you, when you hear this story, man, it's like, yep, here today, gone tomorrow. And people like that who stalk, creep, destroy or whatever the hell it means I mean I'll have to like I said I gotta get into this to another video cause I've met a person just like what I met today Sunday actually met him first time talked to him on the phone too but I've always encountered people like this if there's a person out there I've, I think I've encountered them one time in my life and this one, boy, ho, oh, oh. ho, but I kept my cool, but you gotta beware, people gotta even like a strong dude like this, you don't know what's gonna happen out there, man, you gotta have your eyes in the back of your head, and because I don't think this guy, I'm sorry to say, doesn't have the street smarts. You need street smarts. It's always good to have book smarts too, but to live in this world, you need to live on the other side of them tracks. And I don't think this guy didn't have none of that, and that's why he, sorry to say. Until that next video, be safe, take care, always beware. Keep your eyes around you, man, because you don't know who the fuck is out there to take you out sucks scary but I'm here to expose them all <laughs> that's right my purpose in life to bring down the monsters that tried to take me out I think that's what I'm here for huh out